Yes. 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 Can I ask Councillor Cook to move and councillors Mrs Tracy to second the motion on aspirations in their names. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I formally move the motion. I would like just to uh, draw members' attention to the minor amendment uh, which is included in the circulated motion. And at this stage, I'll formally second the motion, Mr. Mayor. Thank Can you. Call Councillor Crivelli. Can I now call Councillor Crivelli? Madam Mayor, this motion recognises what can be achieved by One's Earth Council, working in partnership with developers and local residents to achieve our ambitions for growth in our borough. A number of these initiatives are in the Aspirations Programme, which is contained in the Executive Report before the Council this evening. Across Wandsworth, our role as a planning authority gives us a clear opportunity to link our economic development with our citizens and ensure that all residents share in the benefits of our borough's growth. I'm sure most members would agree that the Aspirations Programme was a huge challenge when it was launched over three and a half years ago. In that time, Wandsworth has come up with strategies which, as part of the Aspirations Programme, are improving the quality of life in Wandsworth and have laid the groundwork for improvements into the next decade and beyond. The role that London boroughs have in economic development and tackling unemployment is sometimes understated. One of the challenges we face in London is that the proximity of deprivation to affluence can be profound. London is a capital where a number who may
Um, <clears throat> thank you, Madam Mayor, um, and thank you, Councillor Crivelli. There's, um, there's a lot of sort of meat on, on, the, on the bone of this motion, so I, I, I intend only to really cut into two parts um, this evening and, and, and not take up too much of your time. The, the first part really is a recognition of the aspiration work already achieved, um, as very um, eloquently um, described in detail by Councillor Crivelli. But then, as importantly, look, as the motion does, to the second, the second part, which is really our ambition for the future and what we aim to achieve. And, and both elements are equally as important because they obviously work together. In, in terms of the first part and, recognize, and recognizing, the, um, recognizing the work already completed today, I would endorse Councillor Crivelli's views. Uh, and in particular, and I think the, the really important thing to, to note about the Aspirations Programme is is actually the approach it takes. I, rather than focusing on sort of narrow measures of sort of national median income, it's instead looking at what might best be described as the pathways to, to poverty, looking at it holistically in each of those elements, and, and realizing that it is through addressing those issues that we hope to bring, bring people out of poverty in a, in a real way, um, so that they may live high quality lives go, going, going forward. I think um, Councillor Crivelli gave you know, m many very positive examples of, of, of how our programme has focused on a community-led approach, because it is those small organisations that are finding solutions for their own areas that we have to rely on, because they will see the solutions in a way that central government will always struggle to properly understand or to deal with. I would also just mention, in addition to the examples given by Councillor Crivelli, the great work done by the Cool to be Clever um, initiative with um, Putney High School, uh, and also actually some of the recipients of the Wandsworth Grants Fund, um, um, Emerge, which Councillor Crowley mentioned, but also the Feel Good Bakery, a, a social enterprise within Wandsworth, offering training and opportunity to work. So that, 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 is, that is sort of the first part, a recognition of what's been done to date, and, and I think the, the, the motion through the council and through the motion can be rightly proud of that. But, it, it really all doesn't stand up to much unless we have ambition for the future and providing those opportunities for employment for those in our most deprived areas. And that really is where the work of the Council in relation to transport and infrastructure has come, come into its own. Because it's a lack of access to good public transport that will be a significant barrier to employment. It will only be through a, um, a, a robust transport network that we will, that, that, our, that our residents will have the opportunity to find work, to get to work, but also to draw businesses in, into the borough um, and, and, and to create those opportunities. I'd, I'd, like, to, I'd like to conclude really though by, by focusing on, on the last part of, of the motion because I, I do think in, endorse, in, in passing this motion, and I think that's what we should do and I, I, I urge everybody to vote for it. We, we need to, to re realize and appreciate that we won't do this alone and that we do need to work with other stakeholders, including the mayor. We support Crossrail too, but equally we need to work um, with his proponents to ensure that it fits, when it is built in this borough, that it really f it, it fits its surroundings and works for the benefit of its residents. The same, the same goes for, for the bridges proposed. We need, to, that we need to ensure they happen and that they are part of a strategic plan for the development of the area. And that's why I'm delighted to have seen the Lombard Road SPD recently passed. So I think overall, I think what we can say is we, we recognize the work done today, the work that continues to be done, but equally, we do have ambition for the future and need to make sure that we work to achieve that. Thank you very much. Councillor Lua. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I neither will speak for too long, and if I may, much like uh, Councillor Crivelli and Councillor O'Broin, before me, would like to focus on a specific aspect of the aspirations as opposed to trying to take it in the round. Um, although it's not specifically mentioned in the motion, I think I would like to speak a little bit on the Roehampton uh, regeneration as it affects much more uh, directly on my own ward um, in Putney. 
Firstly, I think it's a very positive um, report, having read it beforehand, and it's good to see progress in all areas, um, particularly, of course, in Nine Elms and indeed in regeneration overall. I think, as I say, uh, Roehampton would like to be my focus. And while I'm pleased to see that there's great progress in the Roehampton regeneration program, it is disappointing to see that there are still some who are attempting to scupper this process. The plans to redevelop uh, Roehampton, as set out in the Alton Master Plan, um, has rightly taken time to produce and has been in long consultation with residents, and rightly so, and various stakeholders alongside that. That a minority continue to try and hold this process back purely on the basis of their own self-interest and their contrary opinions is extremely saddening. This area of Roehampton, uh, which hopefully Councillor Carpenter may be able to speak a little bit more on afterwards, um, will be great when it is regenerated. A far cry from what it is today, not losing its character, however, but enhancing it, making it a better place to live, to shop and to work for all those who are living there now and for those in the future. Those who are seeking to hold this process back do so with an ever-increasing sense of desperation and indeed have followed that classic and well-trodden past of the desperate of using delaying tactics and, of course, perhaps the greatest delaying tactic of all of trying to get a building listed. Um, we have seen that the Alton Library was selected as a listed building. Now, I'm pretty open to architectural differences. Um, I really don't count myself as much of an artiste. Um, uh, however, indeed, indeed, indeed. I was about to say, you might have suggested a different word, which is slightly ruder. But, um, yeah, well, we'll see, let's see later, maybe. Um, but I really do not think that this is a building that can be classed to be listed. And I'm delighted to see that English Heritage had the same modest view as myself. Um, I think, Madam Mayor, that very sadly, that attempt at listing was purely a delaying tactic and an attempt, haphazard and slightly slapdash as it was, to delay this whole process, if not to scupper it and hold it below the waterline entirely, as it would have forced the entire program to have been changed, as this was very much the center of the regeneration and the redevelopment. This actually would have forced huge numbers of people into remaining in the current not particularly good accommodation, rather than being given fine and, ex and, and accommodation which is actually have the benefits of all of modernity and modern development standards. I'm sure that we will see more of these tactics in future, and I'm sure they will be met with the same robust response by the Council. On this point, I must also commend uh, to the Council the continued support of the Roehampton councillors from the opposition. Uh, it is very much appreciated, and indeed from my two West Putney colleagues, we are closely involved in this and we do our best to support um, the Council wider, wider regeneration programme here in Roehampton. It is very much in the, in the, on the basis of wanting to improve the lives of the Alton residents that we do this. In conclusion, Madam Mayor, the Re Roehampton Regeneration truly is an aspirational programme. And it's great to see this plan moving forward and that we are now taking genuine steps at procurement. I very much look forward to seeing this progress. And I believe that the Roehampton Regeneration fits perfectly with this motion, although sadly it may not be mentioned, and on this basis I commend it to the Council. Councillor Carpenter. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Madam Mayor, uh, in the interest of getting to the next uh, debate, I shall curtail my speech and confine myself to uh, the introduction and peroration. I'll post the rest on the website so that uh, Councillor Cooper who takes an interest in my speeches, can read it all. <laughs> uh, Madam Mayor, this motion is a bit like a curate's egg, good in parts. The previous speakers have extolled the good parts, but we have some reservations about the Council's direction of travel, and as a result, we will be abstaining on the motion. Madam Mayor, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, and the intentions of the Council's aspirations programme are good but the Council must try harder to integrate its physical and social regeneration programs and take a holistic view of placemaking and community cohesion. 
Another way of putting the proverb is hell is full of good, good meanings, but heaven is full of good works. At this, festi at this festive season, let us all do good works. Thank you. Councillor Tracy has requested 10 minutes. Um, I, yes, I won't uh, probably take that, Mr. Mayor, but um, uh, I'm just kind of shocked by the last speaker's um, comments. I, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that the Labour Party would vote against an aspiration uh, agenda. Um, and I'm perhaps one of very few um, people left in this uh, chamber that have been in opposition anywhere. Not here, but I was in opposition in another um, council. Um, so I do understand where they're coming from, but I do think it is incredibly, um, I mean, I am literally gobsmacked by them voting against an operational uh, agenda. However, well, not having an opinion, not having an opinion. Well, there you go. Um, Councillor uh, Crivelli, I think, um, very articulately talked about the innovative work match programme and um, how that has been working um, so well with some of our most deprived uh, residents um, and we wish it well and hope it goes from strength to strength. And of course, uh, Councillor O'Brien mentioned that the regeneration that we're um, so proud of wouldn't be possible without the new infrastructure. Um, Councillor Lure will be pleased to hear I was going to mention Roehampton, but very briefly, um, as I would agree with him that it is something we truly can be really proud of. I um, looked up uh, tonight, or actually earlier today, um, aspiration in the dictionary. And it is a strong desire to achieve something such as success, longing or aim and an ambition. Um, and I, I wanted to say I am so proud of where Wandsworth is today. The development in Nine Elms might have taken, as Councillor Belton said, a very long time to get there. Um, but who would have believed, uh, even 10 years ago, the amount of inward investment now attracted to the area, the housing and job opportunities? Who would have ever expected that the Americans would embrace Wandsworth and choose to move their embassy to our borough? The opportunities are endless and truly inspirational. Um, the new transport infrastructure, Crossrail 2, uh, absolutely not without its difficulties, but with our aspirational approach, all surmountable. The extension of the Northern Line beyond our wildest dreams 10 years ago, and the, regenerations of, the regeneration programs in Roehampton and Battersea, um, I think is one of the things that I am most proud of, and the fact that we are prepared to put um, some money where our mouth is. Who would have foreseen uh, one regeneration pro program that I was involved in? Um, and who would have foreseen that the rundown Arndale Centre would have been transformed into the borough's premier shopping destination? I mean, absolutely uh, just not thought about 10 years ago. It wasn't possible. But we have other things to look forward to. The pedestrianisation of Wandsworth Town, the explosion of cycling in the borough, and my husband would not forgive me for not mentioning the extension of the river transport. Um, and if he's still awake, he'll be pleased about that. Uh, <laughs> another, another thing that I am particularly proud of, because it's in my ward, and I think, again, it is truly um, aspirational, the largest mini rugby club in Europe at Battersea Ironsides, with a thousand youngsters, a thousand youngsters registered um, to play every weekend. And I'm particularly proud of the fact that I organised, back in the day, a grant for them for a new lawnmower so they could actually keep their pitch uh, to a good standard. I'm very proud of the new uh, wonderful children's corner at Battersea Park and those that haven't been to see it, I really do recommend you go and have a look. It caters for children from babes to adolescents. An adventure playground, a mini golf course, a very popular uh, cafe, and from Friday, the opportunity, which I hope you'll take, Mr. Mayor, 
um, of experiencing the tree walk. <laughs> 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 Who would have believed 20 years ago that parents from our neighbouring boroughs would be clamouring to get into our schools? Um, instead of, in those days, our children fleeing the borough because of the poor standards. Who would have believed that parents were actually choosing to move to Wandsworth because of the excellent schools um, that we now have? And there are other... I mean, there are too many to mention, really, of things that we've done that have been aspirational. The first borough to reach the decent living standards on our, in our council properties. Um, but as I said at the beginning, aspiration also means ambition. And my ambition, and I, have, I still have ambition, even at my age, my ambition is that our new style children's centre, and there's an interesting question on it, which we didn't get to, already very popular with parents, and my ambition is that by moving our very successful family recovery program, which a couple of members have mentioned, and using their way of working so successfully and intensively with those families most in need of our help, alongside the traditional stay and play that is so popular uh, with some families, and our health colleagues and all the valuable work they do to support families, I believe it will be the envy of all our neighbours. My ambition is that every part of the borough and every family within the borough should have the opportunities and the aspiration to improve their lives and enjoy living in Wandsworth. Aspiration and ambition is the watchword of this Conservative group. We were aspirational 40 years ago when we started Wandsworth's journey and our ambition is boundless, and I'm very proud to be part of it. I support the motion. The motion now before the Council is the motion set out in item 17, proposed by Councillor Cook and seconded by Councillor Mrs Tracy, concerning Aspirations Agenda. Please indicate by a show of hands those for the motion. Uh, are those against? Those abstaining? It's past 35 to 17. 17 abstaining. And 17 abstaining.